Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to King's Quest 1, Quest for the Crown. Look, Graham is blending into the pebbly riverbank because he is yellow. I... All right, let's not say anything about that. <laughs> huh. What is that over there? Look, mushroom. The mushroom is on the far side of the river. I think I can see the castle. Look, castle. You see King Edward's castle on the horizon. Look, tree. You admire the beauty of the tree. Well, let's see. Uh, what is action? Swim is equals. Where is my equal sign? There it is. This is sad. You are not in, not the first to fail your quest in the raging river. I hope you may be the last. Ah. Well, there I go dying again. Man, sure didn't la take me very long to die. Alright, well, I guess we can't do anything with the, uh, um, with the mushroom yet. Sure, that'll come later. I wonder if this river is still moving fast. Look, river. This is a raging river filled with boulders and rapids. Wait, it's a raging river and yet it's capitalized. Is raging river its name or not? I'm confused. All right, I've apparently I can't uh, brush aside uh, some branches like that. That's that's just kind of silly. Whoa! Oh god! Uh, Eleven. There we go. All right. I, I actually was not expecting that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, at least we know how to swim. There we go. Man, we we could have drowned there. It would have been horrible. I guess we'll go with this way. Wait, we're back at the uh, the door. That's not what I wanted. Um, I do want something to appear here. It's random. Come on. All right, come on. Wandering on the banks of the lake, you see a cute little elf. Let's go back to normal. Talk elf. You are too far away. The elf, impressed by your friendliness, gives you a magic ring. Kind person, know that once, only once, this ring will make you invisible, he says, and then disappears. Oh, okay, well, um, at least we got an item out of that. That was, uh... See, just proves uh, be nice to people. Magic ring. The ring is gold with a breathtaking tiger's eye stone perched on top. Well, it's it's magic, so uh, I guess we will hold on to it. Got a few points for that. Hey. Uh, look. Garden. This is a patch of well-tended... This is a well-tended carrot patch. The carrots look tempting to a hungry traveler. Of course, you've just eaten stew, so you shouldn't be hungry. Well, I am sure no one will mind us taking a carrot. Heck, does a castle have a carrot patch behind it? You'd think they'd want something other than carrots. Well, I mean, something besides carrots, in addition to carrots. That's the phrase I'm looking for. Take carrot. You pluck a plump orange carrot from the ground. Oh, apparently we got these from the Netherlands, then. Uh, let's see, carrot. This is one of the tastiest-looking carrots you have ever seen. Of course, if it were purple, it might not look quite as tasty, but it would be more nutritious. Alright, let's uh, speed it up a bit, because we're just going to be walking through here. Look. Ground. You see nothing special. Oh, that's right. I want to go up here. Huh. Look. Clover. There's a small patch of clover under the tree. Well, it's not exactly under the tree. Huh. It looks like most of them are three-leaf clovers, but there is a four-leaf clover one there, right there. 
that you apparently cannot walk into. You can walk over the other ones, but not the four-leaf clover. Oh, wait, no. Well, there we go. Yep, there we go. Take clover. The clover is soft, yet you sense a strange strength in it. Ah. Interesting. Must be magical. Four-leaf clover. You have a perfectly shaped four-leaf clover that doesn't actually look the same as when it was on the ground. It's a completely different color now. Mmm, suspicious. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Um, Looking for a specific thing. I guess we can go down this way. Gentle Sir Graham, I am your fairy godmother. Your quest is indeed noble. My small part to aid you can be no bigger than this magic spell, protective, but for a little while. Look, fairy. She is your fairy godmother. Okay. Thank you. I, I guess. Oh, hey. Hey, Mr. Goat. Look, goat. The goat is wandering this way and that. Look, fence. It is a rather high. Prob it is rather high. Probably the only way to get in is through the gate, because Graham can't climb fences. He doesn't know how. Uh, let's go down this way. We will leave the goat for later. Let's not go into the water. Where is that water coming from? That is, that is suspicious as well. I am suspicious. Very suspicious. Hey, a stump. Look, stump. From here you can see the stump of a very old and a very old, the stump is is very old and nearly petrified. I don't think it works that way. Look in stump. Inside the old rotted stump, you notice a small canvas pouch. Oh hey. Take pouch. I got po points for looking at looking looking in the stump. You notice the pouch feels aged and tattered. Look, well, actually, um, see object. Uh, where is it? There it is. The tattered pouch is made of a coarse canvas. Look in pouch. Cautiously, you open the pouch and see many sparkling and flashing diamonds. Quickly, you close it again so as not to lose any. Hey, I got points for that. Woohoo! Pouch of diamonds! Seriously, what's the problem with the economy around here? The diamonds in the pouch glisten beautifully in the light. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, what else do we want? Let's, uh... Guess we'll head this way. Get stuck on a tree, of course. I like how Graham only has eyes when he's looking forward. And we go down this way. Oh, hey. The only inhabitant of Daventry. I don't understand cap. <laughs> Look, house. Clearly I want to urinate on it. Come on, game. Look, house. It was made from rough, hand-hewn logs long ago. Lately, the upkeep has faltered. There are even holes in the roof. That's not good. I should probably clear, uh, cover those up. Hey, an axe. The handle has been broken and repaired. The head shows the signs of many sharpenings. Can I take the axe? You are not close enough. The old axe is tightly wedged in the tree stump. You cannot remove it, no matter what you do, because you are a weakling. Why you'd want to be a king? Why the king would want you as the uh, heir? I don't know. Why he made you a knight in the first place? I don't know. Look, water pump. It is an ancient, rusty water pump. It probably doesn't even work. Use pump. The rusty pump doesn't work. Oh man, sucks to be these people. Well, let's go in and say hi to the only residents in Daventry.
Look, room. The cottage is run down and sparsely furnished. The only nice possession seems to be a fiddle in the corner. Look, fiddle. I cannot see it very well from here. Well, let's uh let's go ahead and save the game then. Now, uh, I'm just going to be wandering around your house. Hope you don't mind. What? These poor people can't even afford to repair the floor. Sorry about that. Ah. Oh, man, dick move game. Talk, people. Get no response from the people. Talk, woman. She replies, I'd like to offer you something, but we do not even have food for ourselves. Talk, man. Welcome to my humble abode. I'm just going to wa wave my hands around. Look, man. The woodcutter is thin and dressed in rags. Look, woman. The woodcutter's wife is skinny and poorly dressed. Look, table. The woodcutter and his wife are sitting at the oak, the old oak table. Look, stove. You see nothing special. Okay. Give bowl. Hey, it's a bowl that endlessly uh, uh, fills with food. Puzzled, the couple wonders why you have given them a bowl. And yet they uh, wave their hands around. Fill. The couple is amazed and delighted as the bowl miraculously fills with a bubbling stew. As a token of their gratitude, they offer the last, their last earthly possession, the woodcutter's fiddle. So what, I just go take the fiddle? Take. Fiddle. You're not close enough to reach it. Ha ha ha, I see, game. Trying to make me die. All right, we will go this way then. Suppose I should save it again, just in case I'm stupid. The polished wood feels like satin. It seems so it seems to still vibrate from the last song it played. Play fiddle. You play a lively toe-tapping tune on the fiddle. That that was not a very long tune. Apparently, actually, I'm kind of impressed that King Graham. I mean, well, not King, but you best be careful, young Graham. The mystic protective spell. Oh, you best be careful, young Graham. The mystic protection protective spell of mine has weakened and departed. Eh, it's not like I need it anyway. Silly fairy godmother. I'm. It's not like it protected me from falling down the hole. All right. Look, house. It is an old cottage. The o this old cottage is sagging and in great need of repair. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. Of course, giving them a bowl of uh, stew won't exactly repair the roof. Uh, let's see. Where is the thing that? Where is the other thing that I want? Ah, I see where it is. Let's go this way. Dare we risk it? Uh, let's save game first. Whee! There's no reason to do that now, because I hit the wrong button. There we go. Apparently I can't get out there. Yep, I'm hitting the wrong button. There, there we go. All right. That that is just absolutely insane. The, the speed thing. It is absolutely insane. All right, let's amble on up. Oh, hey. Look well. The well is deep and dark, but you can see the sky's reflection on the water. Oh, hey. I wonder if I can just uh, jump down there. Jump down well. What a mistake you made! This well is too deep to jump into. Whee! You should be more careful before you try that next time. Oh. But it has a screen for the 
well. That is that is a very oddly shaped well. We at Sierra wish to thank you for playing King's Quest. We are pleased to see that you are doing so well and hope that your score will keep improving. Loser. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's try this again. Lower rope. You will find that very difficult to do from here. Alright, fine, be that way. We'll go around here. This is a giant well. This is enormous. Oops. I want that. Lower rope. The old bucket disappears into the darkness. Whee! Climb rope. What exactly are you climbing on? What are your hands and legs and feet connecting to? And I s s tried to stop there. All right. Uh, jump. Jump on rope. Climb rope. There we go. All right. Cut rope. Just before slitting the rope, you realize that it is not a very wise move at this time. What? I thought you had to lower this and then uh, um, cut the bucket off. Alright, let's see. Uh, raise rope. Fine, be that way. Take buck. Take bucket. Cut rope. With the rope cut, you are able to take the bucket. Lower rope. The rope descends into darkness. There we go. Climb rope. Do 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 do. Hey, oh! I thought we were gonna see it, see him from the other side. Whee! There we go. Fill bucket. With difficulty, you fill the bucket while swimming. Ha ha! Dive, 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 dive. Let's go ahead and save it. Look, can. The rusty old can has been here a while. Why is there a can down here? Look. Bottle. It looks like this bottle has been here for a very long time. I'm amazed that there is a, uh, um... That there is seaweed down here. You're at the bottom of the well. Through the plants you spy what seems to be a hole in the side of the well. Well. Well, well, well! Sure, hold my breath for a long time. Um, let's uh, let's not get too close. Let's uh, let's go ahead and save the game. There we go. You know what? Throw dagger at dragon. Yeah, the dagger sings through the air but falls short of the dragon. You should have been closer. Oh darn! All right. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Let's get close. Let's get close. You should know about these fire-breathing dragons. Maybe next time you'll be a little more careful. Oh, God! Oh! Oh, wow. I'm... That's... That's actually kind of gross. We at Seer wish to thank you for playing King's Quest. We're pleased to see you are doing so well and hope that your score will keep improving. But it won't in this episode. See you all next time, everyone.